Mann. Well, the thing I was looking at today, I went over it. Just got done going over it. Supposedly, three women have come forward to ask police to investigate Bill in relation to the disappearance of his girlfriend, Maura Murray, 2004. Two of them. My damn dog. Have come forward in an auto, audio interview with a third witches to conceal her identity as much as possible except for interviews. Excuse me, with police. So I don't know, lot in Oklahoma in 2004. Two weeks ago, I was contacted by a woman. Living in lots in Oklahoma. She knew Bill a few months after. Maura Murray disappeared. He visited the people who lived in her house often. Some had ties. The Fort Sill, that's probably the base where he was. But I've already gone all over this, and who knows, maybe, you know, maybe I'm Bill. Well, I'm not sticking up for the guy if he um, did kill her, but in a way, I think this guy lost his mind because, yeah. You know, he's texting his girlfriend, and, you know, the day or the night before, she disappears. Then all of a sudden, you know, she's gone, disappeared, dead, pretty much dead. But I don't know how legit this story is, but um, Bill was working at the time. He was friends with the man she was seeing at the time who warned her that Bill had gone off the deep end and that his girlfriend was missing. All right, you know what? And this is why I think that this story's a little <laughs> get real, because if this woman was warned, one day Bill found out that her guy was not home for a while. He texted her, asked her if he could come over. There was a party at the house that night, so she didn't, you know, see the harm. And once he arrived, <clears throat> she said to go to a hotel. She agreed. Now, if there's someone telling her, you know, your woman, hey, he's going off the deep end, be careful, blah, blah, why in the hell would you take your ass off with this man? Because, yeah, they get to the hotel no, at a stop place, she says, Bill reached over and grabbed her by the neck and said, I'm going to kill you like I killed Mora. She reacted over a, over and dug her nails into him. I'll rip your crotch off, she said. <laughs> Immediately, Bill's demeanor changed and became gentle again. He said he was just joking, and they continued on to the hotel. However, the hotel, you know, they didn't have sex. Bill said he's... Glad she didn't have sex with him because I care about that. I have sex with die. The only people I care about that I have sex with die. So it's like, all right. I mean, it goes on saying that and so here's a photo of a woman inside the man trap at Ray Group with Bill. Said he lost his job at this Ray Group. And supposedly this is a note that Bill wrote. Fuck you, I love it. Bet I need a number when I sit down. In your Jeep, do tell. Whatever the hell that means. Now if this is a Bill written letter, maybe Mr. Mori, Mora, uh, Mr. Murray excuse me, has maybe letters from Bill. Can um, match it up or whatnot. If this is the truth, that he's a killer. But she said Bill had a brief relationship in 2006. I'm not surprised. Here, all this, she said he was a pathological liar. 
He spoke about Moore Murray only once, but saying he had a girlfriend who had passed, but that they were broken up at the time. Extremely, extremely pushive, obsessive, arrogant, and controlling. Call him Billy Liar. Third update, fifth woman forward. I spent one night with Bill. Went both working in politics in Ohio. 2008 was violent and degrading towards me. Degrading, sorry. Yeah, don't use that word all the time. <laughs> I uh, sent that message in a flirty situation. I don't know. What's this? Another picture. Fuck you, Captain Bill. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know. I think that man lost his mind due to the fact that, right, he was, you know... In a relationship with a woman that ends up um, doors and mount, you know, just I think he lost it completely, right? Because she disappeared. <clears throat> like I say, I don't, I don't go over this Jane Renner stuff. Does know more as much as any of us. Close as you can come to knowing her through his files. Yeah, all right. I don't know about all that, but I don't know. I still don't think that Bill, unless he rented a red pickup, stole a red pickup, or borrowed a red pickup. If he did them three things, then I would believe he did something. Other than that, the red pickup's the main thing right now in my eyes in this case. And stuff like this is irrelevant. It's just nonsense. Because if this woman knew about this stuff or her boyfriend warned her, what kind of idiot walks up in a car like this with a violent man, a controlling man, whatever the case may be, you put yourself in that danger. You, you're, you're ridiculous. And I think that's just a publicity stunt, but... If he was, if he did make it here from the base and made it to a red truck, then I'd believe it. Then I would look at this. Other than that, he had got in. He had get picked up at the airport, I think, and I don't even think he made it from anywhere to anywhere to get any type of red truck. So this case, this this article, and this is the one where I said has the child abuse in it, but it, as I read it, I have read nothing yet of child abuse. If I do come across it, I'm going to skim through it because, like I say, I ain't listening to this crap unless that red truck comes up in this. It's all BS. Till that next video, be safe, take care, and if anybody else wants to check it out, go ahead. And if I do find anything about the child abuse, I'll say it in the next video, but I don't know. This, this is bad. Anyways, out.